Your 20s are just an amazing period in your life. Every decision and every step that you make in your life when you're in your 20s should be about becoming the man that you want to be. That is exciting. This is the period in your life when you can work towards, you can decide future aspirations and you can define your own success. And every decision that you make, every choice that you make is about working towards that. If something goes wrong, if something doesn't work, there's not gonna be the consequences that it would have later on in life. You can park that decision, you can learn from it, and you can take that life lesson with you as you get older. That's exciting, that's possibilities, and that's a freedom that you get in your 20s. So, in this video, I'm gonna be discussing everything that I recommend that you do in order to be the most attractive version of yourself in your 20s. Let's kick it off with the first tip. Tip number one, be daring. So when I say be daring, I don't mean doing crazy skydiving. I don't mean going these on these outlandish, crazy adventures. When I say be daring, I mean set yourself challenges that are out there. If there's a career that you're interested in, if there's a passion project that you wanna follow, follow it. Because as you get older, you'll begin to realize that passion is something that will motivate you. Passion will be the thing that gets you up out of bed every single day. Unfortunately, I think in modern life there is a real trend that success tends to be defined by other people. And if you go on your social media and you look at accounts that relate to business, if you look at what a lot of your friends are probably doing on there, a lot of it is subconscious flexes. And you can look at those and you can feel like a failure because you're not reaching and you're not achieving all of those things. Be daring, define your own success, whatever that looks like. But success has to come with your passion. And I always talk about passion because I think passion is one of the things that will make you most attractive to somebody else. If you go through life with a smile on your face, if you go through life excited to try different things, if you go through life with a mission, with a cause, with a set of values, and you can talk about those in an exciting and inspiring way, that is gonna make you so attractive to the right people. So be daring to find those passions, live those passions and enjoy those passions and don't live and don't be confined by the social constructs that some of your friends will be putting on you. Don't, be, don't feel tempted to compare yourself to other people. Your success is what you choose to define it as and the quicker you can define that, the more attractive you will be. Tip number two, focus on fun rather than meeting women. So, a lot of guys get all their validation from how many women they can meet. A lot of guys need to be texting multiple women in order for, to feel safe and in order to feel secure in themselves. This is a short term fix for a longer term problem. And if you're one of those guys that's doing that, I would seriously question and I would seriously ask you to question yourself as to why you feel the need to do that. When I first went out meeting women and I first used to go out talking to women, I would always play out the same pattern. I'd be making my way. I'd be journeying to the destination as to where I was going to be. Usually that would be a bar, usually that would be a nightclub. And when I was going on my way, my heart would be racing, I'd be getting a little bit sweaty in my palms, and I'd be beginning to think to myself, shit, I'm so nervous, I need to talk to women. If I don't talk to women tonight, I'm going to be a failure. And then I'd get out, and I'd either wouldn't be able to do it, or I'd be this uptight, tense mess that no woman wanted to speak to. And it makes me laugh now because I was never even approaching women that I was interested in. It was all in my ego. It was all in my own game. It was all in my own need to validate myself by talking to women. So, what do I recommend that you do instead? Focus on fun. If you're out and about with your friends, women shouldn't be the focus. Your focus should be fun. Your focus should be enjoyment. If you're dating, make sure that you're actually having fun with the people that you're spending time with. Make sure that the attraction that you've got with them isn't just a physical one. It's actually one that's based around enjoyment and enjoyment of that person's company. Because once you can find that fun and you can focus on that fun, you will find that the right people come to you and you will find that it is a lot easier to meet the right people. So step away from the need to validate yourself. Step away from the need to play games with people in order to feel good and just accept that that is not the right approach for you. Fun has to be the right approach and finding that fun will bring the result. Tip number three, express yourself 
through your style. So style's been a bit of an underlying theme on this channel and I've spoken about all aspects of style, all the way through the previous long haired content that I used to do, all the way through to just how style links to an authentic representation of yourself. This is never truer than when you're in your 20s. Usually you'll tend to find that guys in their teenage years just want to wear what's fashionable. They want to wear what their favourite celebrity is wearing. And they don't really pay that much attention to whether that's an authentic representation of who they are. But by contrast, guys in their 30s tend to wear what they feel they need to wear. They tend to wear what they think their lifestyle means that they should wear, rather than what actually looks good and what actually probably suits them the most. When you're in your 20s, you've got the best of both worlds and you've also got the freedom to really express and enjoy your style. So try it, do everything. Try different haircuts, try different hairstyles, go to different barber shops, go to different hairdressers, wear different clothes, try on different clothes, shop at all kinds of stores. In your 20s, nothing is off limits. You're not gonna be judged for something. People aren't gonna say you're too old to be wearing that. People aren't gonna be saying you're too young to be wearing that. It is your decision and your style in your 20s can really be the most authentic version of that. If you are using dating apps, really take pictures that showcase your style. If you use a lot of social media pages and you wanna grow them, make sure your pictures reflect that. This is an exciting time for your style and this is an exciting time to really express it. And as I say, every single time, when you start truthfully expressing who you are and you start living your life as who you are, less people will be attracted to you, but the people that are attracted to you will be the right people. So the earlier in life you can find that out, the more fun you're gonna to start to have. And the earlier in life you can attract those people, the more attractive you will become because your confidence will continue to grow. And your confidence will grow for the right reasons because you are being the most authentic version of you. So enjoy that and use your 20s as an opportunity to really define what your most authentic style is. Number four, learn how to set boundaries. So first of all, learn how to set boundaries with other people. If there's something that you don't wanna do, become comfortable and become confident in communicating that. If something doesn't align to your values and something doesn't align to being the future version of yourself that you wanna be, learn how to communicate that it's not something that you wanna do. If you're in an intimate relationship with someone and something's not working for you, learn how to express that, learn how to communicate that. Because the earlier you are when you learn that, the easier it will be as you get older. But more importantly, learn how to set boundaries with yourself. Minimalize the amount of porn that you watch. Make sure that a habit like that isn't taking over your life. Be selective with the content that you watch. So one of the beauties in the world now is that content is accessible everywhere. And everybody with a phone, everybody with a camera can put things online. The problem is a lot of that content isn't helpful. A lot of that content isn't benefiting the people that see it. And a lot of that content is really spreading negativity. I've coached a lot of guys that have been through that. A lot of guys that have found underground forums like Reddit and have taken on a lot of the views of what they've read on Reddit and made them their own. And the issue is when you're in your 20s, you're still beginning to determine who you are. You're still beginning to determine what you believe. And if you're getting content from things like Reddit, you're often taking on content that isn't gonna benefit you. A lot of the content as well that you can read on sites like that, and a lot of what you can find on online things like YouTube, is negative content aimed about women, hate speak aimed about women. And if you're exposing yourself to that and you're finding that content without realizing it, more often than not, there's a chance that you can begin to normalize that. So set boundaries and be selective about what you read and be selective about what you believe because it's got to be you that decides that. Tip number five, don't feel that you have to follow modern day beauty standards. So again, this is something that I've discussed on this channel a lot and I've actually spoken a lot about how working out is a really good thing and how I think it's something that most guys should do. But there is a ridiculous trend in the world at the moment and modern day beauty standards for both men and women are almost cartoon-like. Women want to look like Barbie, guys want to look like Ken and in real life that looks like women getting fake lips, getting bum implants and getting a lot of other work done. For guys, 
that stuff that looks like guys that have got absolutely no business doing steroids doing steroids and again this is discussed everywhere online 19 20 year olds 22 year olds dabbling with psalms dabbling with steroids dabbling with performance enhancing drugs and not knowing the consequences of it when i was younger i absolutely used to feel that temptation and i remember i used to go out and I used to feel conscious about not being muscular enough. And I used to feel conscious about not being tall enough, even though I'm five foot 11, six foot ish, so slightly taller than average. But the point is your mind can overtake that. And your mind can tell you that if you're not good enough, you're never gonna be worthy of love. And I think the problem is, is that modern day beauty standards, because they are so extreme, mean that a lot of people subconsciously feel that. And this is why you have women dabbling with themselves and this is why you have guys dabbling with things that they shouldn't be dabbling with. There is no perfect body. There is no perfect beauty point. And the quicker you realize that, the more attractive you will become. No woman is gonna wanna date you if you're self-obsessed. No woman is gonna wanna date you if you're narcissistic. And no woman is gonna wanna date you if you are completely defined by your body or you are completely defined by your quest for the perfect body. Develop the other aspects of the character. As I said in point number one, find your passions, learn how to communicate those passions. Doing things like that and working towards that is gonna make you a million times more attractive than anything else. So shift your focus to that and stop trying to find the perfect body or stop trying to look perfect. And that's it. If you like this video, please can I ask you to click like and subscribe down below. If you really like this video, I am also offering one-on-one -on -one coaching at the website also down below. But as always, guys, nothing but love. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one.